Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're gonna touch up some spray-painted cabinets using a rattle can. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So about a year and a half ago, I brought out the airless and painted these cabinets, and uh, then a floor was put in afterwards, and you can see the bottoms there are all nicked and chipped from this uh, floor that went in, and uh, it's time to repair them. And I'm not gonna get out the airless to do just these tiny little repairs. So I'm gonna show you a neat little trick to get away from that. So the paint I used on these cabinets was by Benjamin Moore. It's their advanced line cabinet paint and it is really great paint, uh, but it's very expensive. It's about 60 bucks a gallon. And so what I did is I went and bought another gallon and had the guy at the store put some of it into a couple of spray cans for me. And they'll do it, cost about six bucks a can which is well worth it. You don't want to try to do this on your own. You're going to need a compressor and cans and whatnot. And so uh, the the paint color I've got is White Dove. And it just, it saves a whole lot of problems with getting out the airless and masking off the entire room and cleaning it and all that mess. And this does a really nice job. So I've got to protect everywhere that I don't want to get painted. And so uh, obviously I'm going to cover the floor and I need to just pick a spot here and I think I'm going to go right along the top of this line here because I've got this door. And so I'm going to put a piece of paper along here and paint everything else below here down to the floor. And that should blend it in nice enough where you're not going to be able to tell what I've done. So I just got a master paper and tape. I'm going to make sure that I don't get any of it on the floor. Obviously, I'll have to fill this in. All right, here's my finished product ready to do a little painting. Uh, I'm gonna shake it up and have at it, and I'm just gonna try to hit the bottom area where the the nicks and whatnot are. Up here towards the top of this area, you know, I, I'm not gonna worry about that because there's no, there's no damage. The damage occurred when this heavy stone flooring was put in and it, it really nicked it up, so. We're gonna focus on the bottom and uh, let it mist up to the top and see how it turns out. Now I wanna put two or three very light coats of paint on this. The nice thing about airless painting is that it's a beautiful uniform sheen. If I try to glob on this spray paint, it's gonna look like garbage. And so that's what I wanna avoid. Just a couple of really light. And we'll, we'll hit that a couple of times. You want to keep the uh, can moving while you do it. Um, that's enough. I'm going to let that dry and I'll be back uh, probably an hour or two after it dries. So I could sand this, but it's in such an inconspicuous place. I think I'm just going to let it go and hit it with another coat here. And this is the third coat. So it's time to peel off the paper and see how we did. I expect to have a little cleanup. Okay, so there's the finished product. I need to clean up that corner over there. I can see a little run, but all in all, uh, not bad. Well, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.